Hey, what's up, fam? I'm going to show you something dope that you can do with the SP555 from Roland with the MPC Live in conjunction with one another. When using the SP555 as an audio inter interface, and what's dope is the Akai MPC Live lineup recently updated the firmware to 2.10, which will allow you to use a USB class compliant audio interface as the audio interface for the MPC Live to stream audio in and out of the MPC Live using a USB cable. So the first thing you want to do is connect your USB cable to both the MPC Live and the SP555. And you hook it up at the back of the SP555 into the MPC Live very self-explanatory next we want to make sure that we have our outputs going out of the SP555 into a speaker or whatever uh, sound source that you're using to hear the sound we're going out of the SP555 into our sound source I have a speaker right here that's a little off camera that you can't see now we're going to go to our menu, go to that cogwheel, go to audio device, change that from internal to the SP555, and now the SP555 becomes our audio um, interface. Next thing you want to do is go back to program or wherever you're going into the uh, NPC Live to make the beat. And we're going to choose some samples here. We're going to go to Browse, go to Expansions. We'll try a sample pack from MX Audio. Go back to Main or Menu. Now, what's dope about this setup is when you're using the SP555 as an interface for the MPC Live, the SP555 operates like the SP404 does where it allows you to um, apply effects to a live signal over the USB cable. If you have an SP555, you know that the you can't apply the effects to live signals like you can for the SP404 when using it in the traditional, man, traditional man, man, manner of uh, the analog. But when you have, sorry about that, but when you have it connected via the USB cable it allows you to apply the effects using the USB cable in a live uh, situation so let's just make a beat real fast on right here let's see Now what's dope about that setup is now you can also uh, resample if you wanted to into the SP555 or even back into the MPC Live depending on how you have it set up. I'm not going to show that right now. I'll show that show that in a later, later video. But what's also dope with the SP555 is it allows you to uh, use it as a microphone. So you have a microphone that's right here built into the SP555. Also you can use a phantom power and power a microphone on hand. And you can use it to sample into the SP555 or into the MPC Live if you wanted to. This is a, a cheap $10 uh, mic so that's why you get too much feedback. But that's another dope feature when using the SP555 as an audio interface for the MPC Live. This, this is just going to be a basic overview of all the options you have when using it with the MPC Live. I will follow up with a, 
other videos that's going to go more in depth on what you can do with the SP555 and in conjunction with using it with the NPC Live. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you found this information helpful, please feel free to please subscribe and comment, rate, and share the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.